Greetings Geek Rumours and welcome to part one of Watch 2 Infinity War and we're starting at the start almost 10 years ago with the classic that is Iron Man. Yep this is the Blu-ray so and it's actually a really good Blu-ray it is you know I'd like to have some extra features on it but hey ho this is me just picking little holes here and but back to the film at hand Iron Man or from 2008 brilliant film set the tone for the rest of the MCU you know of course it's deviated across the ways with uh, Civil War being an obvious one and they went into space with Guardians of the Galaxy but everything that you need for the MCU is all down in here from the introduction of secondary characters like your Agent Coulson, your Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., your Nick Fury which who will play a bigger part in future films as you will see if you haven't seen them uh, spoiler I should have not I should have mentioned that first but while you're watching this if you haven't seen any of these okay now what sets this film aside from some of the other films in the in the superhero genre is Marvel started to use actors instead of stars so you've got the likes of uh, Robert Downey Jr. Jeff Bridges uh, Paul Bettany Gwyneth Paltrow all great actors in their own right all award-winning actors in their own right and that's what separates it and if you go further into the MC you'll you'll find other actors who star in the in the Marvel movies who go on to make smaller films who do serious so this is you know this is the like I said it's the template for everything that is you know Marvel it is and why this modern batch of superhero films work so perfectly is by actually the actors taking it all seriously now another thing that I really love this actually starts in this is and it was used to great effect in Guardians of the Galaxy films and then of course Thor Ragnarok is the use of music I mean you've got ACDC and Black Sabbath in, in Iron Man and, and the way they use it in the film is perfect you actually when you, you hear the songs you actually think of the movie which is absolutely fantastic and you know going back to the uh, characters it's the use of setting up secondary characters which has always been fantastic it does get used to better effect in Iron Man 2 and future films where so you don't have to explain your origin story in other movies your secondary characters can just get introduced slowly so when the time it came to Avengers or Avengers Assemble as it is known in the UK you've got all the characters there you're not explaining new characters because the secondary characters are already there and introduced in the other movies that led up to it now you know I'm not going to uh, go kiss it so much you know because there are faults in Iron Man and the only one I can actually see from watching it yesterday, okay, I still do look at these films with road tinted glasses, is there are some dodgy special effects towards the end of the film with the when Iron Man's fighting Iron Monger. But you know, other than that, I mean of course all CG effects do seem to date, especially, you know, if you, you can look at Phantom Menace compared to uh, The Last Jedi, and the effects, the CG that they actually use in Last Jedi is infinitely superior. But, you know, and uh, but this was only nine years after uh, Phantom Menace came out so it is still you know CG which uh, you know isn't that good but it's, it's, it's very passable but other than that fantastic film and one of the best things about this uh, about uh, Iron Man is it set us a set up for all the geeks and nerds and cinephiles you know having to stay right to the end of the credits from all these films now in any other film that might have a geeky connotation to it you have to stay to the end because uh, at the end of Iron Man is the one that actually sets up Nick Fury and the uh, Avengers initiative so that's why we all have to sit through the five minutes of credits but so thank you John Favreau for starting a trend ah but at least we get to add extra movie trivia by actually reading all the credits people like myself who actually retain all the information which is great yay what stuff I don't really need up in my head but that's it that's part one done now uh, next week we'll be looking at the Incredible Hulk so stay tuned for part two. See you soon, Geek Rumors.